one. All right, looking at the SBA review packet, question number six here. Clockwise rotation is equivalent to a counterclockwise rotation by how many degrees? Now, actually, let's do this. We're going to look at the actual problem because it was more specific. A, clockwise rotation of 90 degrees is equivalent to a counterclockwise rotation of how many degrees? Well, here's how I'm going to do this. And I'm not going to answer this for you, but I'm going to give you a good visual. Let's just say uh, we have something like this. And up here, I might even put 12 o'clock, 12 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 6 o'clock, and 9 o'clock. All right, just so we can have a re uh, get oriented right now. 90 degrees is like one full turn of a square. So I'm going to start off going clockwise. That would be this way, a rotation of 90 degrees. Ready, 90 degrees. So right now, a 90 degree clockwise rotation. It looks like my 12 is now where the three o'clock was. Okay. Um, now I want to know. If I spun this to the left, how many degrees would I need to rotate it to the left? Well, let's find out. Let's find out when is my 12 going to be located where the 3 is. Counterclockwise, here's 90 degrees. Okay, another 90 degrees. That's a 180 degree rotation. We're still not quite there. Here's a another 90 degree rotations. Hey, that looks pretty similar. Another 90, that'd be 270 degrees. 360 degrees, and we're right back where we started. So given given this little visual, I expect that you'll be able to answer this question. It seems like 90 degrees clockwise looks like this. And it seems like 270 degrees, 90, 80, 270 degrees looks like this. All right, there is number six for you.